Video lessons in this playlist are part of my new and quite large already video course on unit and UI testing of Swift mobile app. Let me show you it very quickly. If you click the link in the description of this video, it will take you straight to my video course. It is very new and if you notice, Udemy has already labeled it as hot and new. If you scroll down, you will see the curriculum of this video course and if you notice, at this moment it shows that this video course has 120 lectures, but this number will change sometime soon as I have already added to this video course a dozen of new lectures. For some reason, these numbers do not reflect real-time data. There are more lectures now and more hours of video content. If you are a solo developer working on a very small project, then you might postpone learning how to unit test for a while. But if you are planning to join a bigger team at a bigger company, then unit testing is a must-have skill. You will need to write unit tests to be able to work on important features. And this video course is for absolute beginners, for those who have never written unit tests in Swift. Have a look at the curriculum, let me know if you have questions, otherwise I would love to see you in this video course. In previous video lesson, we talked about different UI text fill attributes. And in this video lesson, I'm going to write a unit test to test that email address text field has a content type attribute set on it and it is equal to email address. So if I select email address right now and I expand the right side panel and switch to attributes inspector, for the email address text field, the content type is set to be email address. So I'm going to create a unit test to test that this UI text field has a content type email address set on it. All right. I have slightly updated the project and the view I have created in the previous video lesson. And in the view, I have added one more text field, which is a repeat password. And I have also added a button, sign up button. And these two new changes I have done just to have the sign up form to look more or less complete. All right. I have also created a new UI view controller and I've called it sign up view controller. And I have configured this view to use this sign up view controller. If I expand the right side panel again and switch to identity inspector, under custom class, I have assigned this view to use the sign up view controller. And the same class name I have used for identity storyboard ID. So this view is working with the sign up view controller class and it's using storyboard ID, which is also sign up view controller. And if I open this view controller, sign up view controller in assistant editor, which is currently open on the right side here, you have noticed that I also created an IB outlet for each of these text fields. And if I switch to a unit as case class, I have already updated setup with error and the tier down with error methods to use the sign up view controller. And I have done these changes offline because we have done it a few times already in previous video lessons and I wanted to save you time. All right, so let's create a new unit test method to test that email address text field has a content type configured. I will add a little space here and we'll create a new function. Something like this, test email text field when created has email address content type set. And because I have already instance of my sign up view controller, I can access it right away and access the email text field. So I will create a new constant and I will call it email text field equals system under test email text field like this. And because email address text field might not be connected, I will try to unwrap it first with XCT unwrap. And because I'm trying to unwrap and it might throw an error, I will need to add throws here like this. And also, if the text field could not be unwrapped, I will log a message. And now when I have UI text field, I will try to assert that it has an attribute test content type configured. And to do that, I will use the XCT assert equal test assertion. And as a first expression, I will use email text field. And then we'll look for text content type. And the data type of this text content type property is UI text content type. So I will use it UI text content type 
to look up the email address content type like this. And if I want to make it shorter, I can also remove this UI text content type and have a shorter version just like this. All right. And if this test assertion fails, I can also log a message like email address text field does not have email address content type set. All right, so it looks like my test method is ready and I can try running it and see if it works. So I will run it. And the test is successful. I can try failing it. I will go to my main storyboard, will select email address, expand right side panel, and I will go to content type and will change it to unspecified like this. Now, if I run this unit test, it should fail. And the test is now failing. All right, so it's working. Let me go back to my main storyboard and make it pass again. I will select email address text field and update content type back to email address. Go back to my unit test and run it again. And the test is successful. All right, so let's continue.